All right, the time has come. I've never actually tested out one of these Marshall Codes amps before, at least not in this kind of detail. Let's see how it sounds. Howdy folks, this is Shane. We're finally here to test a Marshall Code amplifier. I've had hundreds of requests for me to test these out, so here it is. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on this at the end of the video as well, so stay tuned for that. One of the things I really like about this immediately is how great the dirty tones are. What you heard in the intro clip had no post-production other than just panning out the tracks left and right, and that was it. No tricks on my channel. What you're hearing is what you get. Let's take a look at the amp up close. So much like a conventional amplifier, we have our analog controls here. We can also skip between the presets as well as a master volume. Now, on this particular video, I don't get the master up past about here because it is extremely loud. We also have a headphones out as well as an auxiliary in as well. The input for the guitar is here and we also have a USB cable also. For the purpose of the video, I'll be using my mobile phone with the app that I downloaded from the app shop to basically modify and change the presets and we'll also use some of the stuff on the panel up the front. But everything that you see here, you can use with the app and it makes it just that little bit too easy. Unlike a lot of amps, sometimes using the functionality on the amp is easier than using the app. The app works extremely well, so I'll be using that most of the time in this video as opposed to going over and fiddling through here. We don't have a huge LED screen either, it just basically tells you what it is. So using the phone is pretty much an essential thing of this, but it actually works well, so that's a big bonus. A huge thanks to Sky Music for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about them and you're in Australia, I'll post all the links on screen. Let's do it. Not all the presets within the amp are really, really loud, but the one I was using for the lead tones was just screaming and it really sounded great. So I decided that's going to be the one that we start with and sort of modify, and I can show you how you can go about changing up some of the sounds. Let's have a listen to how that sounds just on its own. So it already sounds great. There's not a whole lot you'd need to do to this, but after you hook up your mobile phone to the amp via Bluetooth, simply download the app from the app shop. It's free, and then you can go ahead and sort of edit the amplifier. So if we go into the effects section here, we can add some delay. Well, there was already a little bit on. Let's just turn that up a little bit. Might change from vintage delay, maybe to something a little bit different. Let's go to, well, there's only a few to choose from. So we'll try multi. So you're getting a lot more repeats there in a kind of weird way. So maybe what we'll do, we'll go back to vintage because that's what I was on before. And we'll just turn up the level a little bit. Let's give this a shot. This is bridge pickup.
that sounds pretty cool. All right, so let's mix it up a little bit. I'll leave the delay on for now. There's modulation, different types of reverb, reverb as well. Let's change this to a spring. See how it sounds now. <laughs> So definitely sounds different with a different reverb on there, no doubt about it. I'll just turn that down a little bit. Man, it's huge. All right, let's take a look at what else we can change up. The distortion pedal is on, now it's off. Back on. Man, that's huge. So we'll leave that on, we'll get out of effects, and we'll go over to amp here. Still getting used to sliding that out. So we can change the resonance and presence as well. Let's change up the cabinet here. 60V. Now, not all of the presets that come with the amp are very good, and that's pretty common for most modeling amplifiers, and the code is no exception. But that said, if you're into heavy tones, the Marshall shines with this, it's really cool. But what I'm gonna do now is see if there's any good clean platform tones we can start from, and then we'll modify those as well. All right, over to a patch now called American 60s. This is my Made in Mexico Strat. This is all stock, neck and middle. I accidentally bumped it into middle pickup there, but you get the point. It's really, really top heavy. It just, I don't know, something doesn't sound right in the top end, but that's not surprising. <laughs> I'm sure Marshall don't want the Fender tones to shine, much like how Fender don't want the Marshall tones to shine on their Mustangs. So let's try this, a little bit less treble. I'm gonna go neck pickup. <laughs> sounds way way better let's take a look at some of the other things we can change now we'll go into the amp you can see it says American class a B here so let's have a look at some of these here that's probably the one that you want it on if you're talking about fenders but let's just change it up we'll see what classic Marshall 100 watt does let's see if it changes the sound of this so power amp on <laughs> completely changes the way the amp sounds. I'm gonna turn that back off. All right, let's see how we go with that Fender Clean platform through the Marshall Code, of course. Now with some distortion as well. Let's give this a shot. Click on distortion, and we've got a few different modes here. I'm gonna try overdrive. Let's give this a go, and we'll turn that on. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's still got that top end sizzle that I don't really like, so I'm gonna turn the tone down. I dig it. Let's mess around with the delay here. Try to turn up the time, which will make the delay repeat slower. All right, that's way too slow. Let's bring that down. Now I'm gonna tap tempo. This is probably just easier. Let's try this. Needs more feedback, obviously. Yeah, let's crank up the level, the feedback. Let's give this a go. I gotta say the Fender Tone isn't bad, but it's not 100% there. It's very, very edgy in terms of its top end and presence. You could probably dial that out even more. You can even use the amp to dial in less treble. Let's give this one last go. Cool. I'll show you a couple of the cool presets on this amp. And this is neck pickup on my PRS SE. This one's called Dirty Blues. Basically every preset you're gonna have to tweak a little bit. For me personally, that just needs way more treble and the treble's cranked, so it may need a different cab to kind of bring out the best of the actual preset. If you go into amp, you can also turn up the presence a little more. Let's give this a shot. This guitar is actually really, really bright. It doesn't sound anything like that, basically, normally. That's already better. Here's a nice one with some tremolo called Blues Legend. It's different. <laughs> this one's called DSL Clean Chorus. Let's give this a go. It's actually pretty nice clean. This next one's a Blues Breaker preset. Let's give this a go. Yeah, let's try that with a little more gain. Neck pickup. And split coil. Sounds great. <laughs> Up next we have one called Rock God, which is something I'm absolutely not, so let's give this a shot anyway.
and unleashes the beast. Man, that is cool. And just for kicks, considering I don't play any metal, I'm gonna try something for you, just this one time. So here we go. This is neck pickup on one called Metal 80s. Done, here we go. <laughs> I'm actually having a lot of fun with this amp. It sounds way better than I thought it was gonna sound and it's not hard to dial in something if it doesn't sound quite right to start with. Given the fact you might have to learn some of the software, with that aside, it's actually something you can also just walk over to the amp and you've got pretty much most of the controls at your disposal as well. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I hope this video was helpful. Just a couple of my own opinions based on what I was hearing with this. A, the app works extremely well, it was easy to connect. I think the second time I tried to connect Bluetooth to it, it worked and I hadn't had any problems since. I like how responsive and intuitive the actual app is. What you saw me use today was just minutes of me using it prior to filming in terms of the app. In terms of the amp, there's plenty of good tones to start with. Some of them sound really boxy and some of them sound huge. I think that's just due to the cab setting, so you can definitely go in there and tweak some of the better sounding ones to make them sound even better. What you heard in the intro clip was literally no post-production. All I did, well, technically I panned the tracks. That's the only type of thing that I did to the tracks. That was just straight up mic in front of the amp and they were the tones. A few people might ask, is this loud enough to gig with? No, look how small it is. It sounds loud for use at home. You can definitely annoy the neighbors with something like this, but it definitely doesn't have that live type of vibe. You could probably mic it up, but you would struggle getting over a drummer with something like this. But that said, it's a great little practice amp. I'm really, really surprised. In the shop recently, I had a chance to test some of the larger ones of this, and I, I didn't know what to think of it. Maybe my ears changed a little bit because I've actually owned, I actually own a Marshall now as well. But I was really, really enjoying the crunch channels on this. Some of the cleans are a little bit ice picky, but you can actually dial that out. So get in, get in there with your phone or just walk over to the amp, fix up the ice pick and then save that particular patch. It's nice and simple. So overall, I think this is great. A huge thanks again to Sky Music for letting me borrow this and review it. I had a lot of fun demoing this, as you can probably tell. For me personally, when I film these videos, sometimes it can take me forever because I'm not happy with the sound. And I struggle playing because I don't like what I'm hearing, especially on the heavier tones. I really, really enjoyed it. It made shooting the video really easy. There's not a whole lot of jump edits in here that you'll see, hopefully anyway. So it's a good little amp. I'm really, really surprised. For those also wondering, this is actually made in Vietnam as well, which is where they make a lot of their other amps now. Same with my Marshall DSL-20 down there on the floor. So overall, it's great. The handle's good. It's nice and light. If you're looking for a good little practice amp, can't go too far wrong with this. I think it rocks. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Almost dropped it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll be back for more videos coming up soon. So catch you soon. See ya.